The art for today's episode has nothing to do with the podcast that I'm talking about. And as always, The Art Recommends Podcast is a podcast recommending series and shouldn't be mistaken as a reviewing one. Opinions about each show are my own and should not reflect what each podcast has to offer. Content warnings aside, I believe if any recommendation in my series interests you, you should give it a chance, regardless of how I personally feel about the show. I think Mrs. Brown's just a bitch. My, uh... No, I'm serious. Announcing everyone's scores from highest to lowest feels like a serious violation. Like, who is that helping? It's just awkward and humiliating for everyone. Not for Jim. Jim's a bitch, too. I hope he gets fucking rejected from UCLA. He'd have to throw out basically his whole wardrobe then. I am amazed that they even make UCLA Heelys. I'm amazed that they still make Heelys, actually. (laughs) Remember when your mom said she wouldn't get them for you because they were too dangerous, so you asked to borrow mine and you broke your collarbone? Yeah. I missed seeing Alvin and the Chipmunks because of that. Tales from the Radiator is an anthology podcast of the weird and bizarre, featuring new writers and voice actors in the podcast community. Tales from the Radiator does stories from essential horror, comedy, sci-fi, and other genres. There's no particular story they're looking at for, except as long as it's just really, really weird. And I like that a lot about this show. I love the weird stories, and I like stuff that just kind of gets freaky, and stuff with, like, twists that get really bizarre. And this show definitely has a lot of it. I also like the fact that it does invite in new voice actors and writers, some who have never done shows before, when it comes to podcasting at least. And I'm really glad that they that there's a show out there that exists to bring in that kind of opportunity to people. If you can hear my dogs, they agree with me. That being said, I think that this is a show everybody should give a listen to. Just because it's kind of different from a lot of like what other people are doing. There's no like meta lore, there's no reason for, you know, like how these stories exist, like in other anthologies like Among the Stacks or the Magnus Archives. However, it's just, it's just if you want short stories, and you want short stories that aren't just horror, because I know a lot of people love horror fictional podcasts, I should know, I'm one of them. And you might hear a familiar podcast recommender's voice in one of these episodes, but that's just a rumor I heard, so don't take my word for it. And I just really like Strawbridge uh, Productions as a company in general. I've done artwork for them, um, for them before, for their other show, The Stench of Adventure, and they're really great to work with, and also everyone's just really nice. And I like, uh, I like working with people who are just fun to work with in general. And so, yeah, basically. I'll also probably be uh, plugging in another show of theirs very, very soon because I had just given it a re-listen. But I'm not saying which one, I'm saving it for when I get to that video. If you're somebody who really, really needs content warnings for episodes, um, fortunately with this show, because yes, it does go into some horror, it doesn't go into incredibly graphic horror. Every episode has individual content warnings, so if you're somebody who does need content warnings on stuff you're listening to in case there's certain specific things that you do not want to, uh, you know, find, they exist, they're there. Overall though, if you're somebody who just wants weird horror, I say go for the show. Definitely go for the show. I really like it. I like listening to all the episodes. I waited until the first season was over before I did this recommendation video. Um, I kept kind of pushing it back. I was originally going to do it before I did Divisor, but Divisor had come out so soon and I wanted to talk about the show, so that's why I ended up doing that one before this one. But now I'm doing this one, I made sure that I did this one next, and so I am telling you, please give it a chance. I know this video is pretty short, it's definitely a bit shorter than some of my previous recommendation videos, but that's only because I can't go through every single individual story. If you just something want something that's really weird, something that's really bizarre, something with one particular familiar voice that you may be listening to, to now, but that's just a rumor so don't take my word for it, I say go for it. And also, just they did a mini season in the beginning, so they got a season zero and a season one. And the season zero has uh, voice actors from the shows Straw Branching Out and The Stench of Adventure, which are two other shows produced by Straw Branch Productions. So you could see what the writing team and the acting team, like their work done. If you haven't actually listened to their other shows and you kind of want like a little taste of what they have to offer, I say go for it, especially since their other two shows are also really, really good. That being said, 
Thank you for listening. I'm going to actually be uh, linking their Patreon down below, as I always do. They have a Discord server. Like with at Podlatcha, it's also one of the only few podcast servers that I'm in, as I generally tend to avoid large servers. But I also like going into servers for smaller stuff. I don't like huge big fandom servers. They scare me. So I'll be linking the Patreon down below. Maybe you'll find your way onto the Discord. And also, you can follow me on social medias. I always link them in my videos. Maybe you want to see my other stuff. I got comics I'm working on. So many comics. And I'm doing more animation stuff. Hopefully in the future. That being said, goodbye, have fun, and I'll talk to you later.